Aries. So this is the reading that I got for you guys for the month of September. So I'm using the bonus spread to do this reading, okay? So this reading is going to be what do you love in the past pertaining to your love life, what you don't know about your love life, what's in a new future of your love life, what's in the future, what's really going on, and what's going to be the outcome for you. And this will be the general energy, okay? So you just start with what you love in the past pertaining to your love life. So I got the three of pentacles, okay? And then I got the page of cups, when I clarify that, the three of swords, and the five of swords, okay? You guys had a similar reading to Taurus. So some of you guys are dealing with a Taurus, okay? Um, what I got is that you guys accepted an offer, but this offer was kind of bullshitting, okay? It was not even bullshitting. It was bullshit, okay? Um, this person probably was dealing with someone else, okay? And this is someone who's playing games, okay? Um, I don't feel like, you know, I feel like their intentions was to make it work with you, but at the same time, I don't feel like they mature enough to give you what you actually want, okay? That's what I'm pretty much getting. Now, this person could be an earth sign, Okay, like I was saying, a Taurus or a Capricorn, or this person could be a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Now, what you don't know about your love life, you got the temperance. So, I feel like what you don't know is that this person does want to make it work with you, okay? And when I clarify the temperance, I got the Ten of Swords and Nine of Swords. Yeah, there really is, like, it's weird. I feel like this person, yeah, I feel like they really are not mature because they know what they did, but at the same time, it's like now they're being really remorseful. They really can't sleep without you, okay? They can't think without you, okay, properly. Like, it's like they cause all this, but at the same time, it's like they can't, they can't, like, see, like, they can't understand why they did that. Is You know what I'm saying? It's, like, very weird. I feel like they're just not mature enough. But at the same time, it's like they want it to make it work with you. They want to make it work with you. Okay, and they constantly think about you. They constantly think about how it ended as well. Okay, now what's in the future? I got the nine pentacles in reverse. Okay, so for this spread, I did all the way, um, I did um, all the reading upright. Okay, but this flip out in reverse, so I take the message. Okay, and when I clarify that, I got the six of swords the will of fortune the five of wands and the two of pentacles okay so i feel like you guys um have moved on okay and they're not accepting the fact that you are moving on without them okay but i think a lot of you guys you know you give your last shot um but you're continuing to moving forward this person is going to try to resurface back into your life with the will of fortune okay and i feel like they're going to try to prove themselves that they can offer you something that's real <laughs> okay but a lot of you guys don't trust them, okay? And I see why, because I feel like this person was putting you in a third-party situation, okay? Um, now, what's in the future, okay? I got the Ace of Wands, and I got the Six of Wands, and I got the Four of Cups, okay? So I feel like this person is going to still be around you. And I feel like the cards are trying to say, if you do want this person to change, I feel like the cards are trying to say, don't fold, don't give in, don't step them back, okay? Continue to make them prove their love to you. Because I feel like it can work out, but it's like they have to go through their fair change of evolution. They have to really evolve, but they have to evolve by themselves rather than you, like, you know, spoon feeding them. You trying to, you know, make it work with them. They have to learn by themselves. And once they see that you're progressing, you elevating, your life is getting much better, I feel like this person is going to get the model, model and start becoming a better person, okay? Not only for them, not only for the connection, but even for themselves. Because I feel like, again, this person was not living right as well. Um, but they're definitely seeing you are going to get a lot of attention in the, in the future, okay? But I feel like the card trying to say is to reject them right now okay so they can prove their love to you okay so they can actually change now what's really going on in your love life i got the four of pentacles so i do see you holding back from this person and when i clarify the four of pentacles I got the nine of wands so someone who's being a player someone who's inconsistent and when i clarify that i got the knight of cups and the eight of pentacles so again i feel like this person the longer that you you know don't give in 
the more change that you are going to experience with them, okay? I feel like they are going to actually change. But it's like you can't work it out with them. They have to learn it by themselves, okay? With the Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Now, what's going to be the outcome for you guys? I got the Queen of Pentacles. And when I clarify that, I got the Knight of Wands. And I got the Two of Wands and Seven of Wands. So, yeah. So, I feel like the outcome is going to be basically you're going to be focused on yourself. You're going to be guarding yourself. And they're going to try to fight for this connection even harder. Um, even more than they usually fight for. Um, they are going to try to really prove their connection, prove their love. They're actually going to change, but the change is going to happen without you working it out with them together, okay? That's what I'm pretty much getting. Now, I do got the Magician as a general energy, okay? So with the Magician being the general energy, it's showing that whatever you want to manifest is going to come through, even when it comes to this connection. If you do want this person to generally change, I feel like it's going to happen. Okay? I do see that. But the card trying to say is that don't work it out with them right now. Let them learn by themselves. Let them change by themselves. Okay? Um, that's what I'm pretty much getting. Now, for the Oracle, I mean, for the Romance Angels, I got calling in your soulmate, getting to know each other, and very soon. Okay? So, but very soon in calling your soulmate, again, I feel like what I'm trying to say is this person, they're going to get to that level of change. They're going to get to that level of becoming a better person, okay? Um, with getting to know each other, I feel like this is more with you and this is more with them on an independent level, if that makes sense. Like, they're going to get to know each, get to know themselves much better while being, you know, separate from you. And you're doing the same too. You're going to get to know yourself much better while being separate from this person. Because uh, probably this relationship was kind of getting codependent or it was codependent. And you guys was losing yourself in the connection. You guys was going to, like, you guys were accepting bullshit that you know that you wouldn't accept from someone else. Okay? Um, but I feel like with getting to know each other, I feel like this is getting to know yourself. And this person's getting to know themselves as well. And that's why it's causing a change for themselves because they're realizing, down they was not living right and they got to change, okay? Now, with um, calling your soulmate at the Queen of Swords, so this is coinciding with what I was saying, setting those boundaries, setting those standards, not giving in, okay? Not giving in because you're lonely or you're missing them or you feel sad for them. No, letting them learn by their own self, okay? And with... Um, Getting to know each other, got the emperor. Again, this represents Aries. This represents your energy. But Aries energy is all about thyself, okay? So getting to know thyself on a deeper level, okay? And when I clarify very soon, I got the sun and nine pentacles. So I definitely see this person trying to become a better version of themselves, become that king, okay? Or become that queen of stability because we do got the pentacles. I feel like they are going to get to that level. And it's going to happen due to enlightenment with the sun card. Now, for the romance angels, I mean the romance angels, um, the oracle spread, I got igniting my joy. I got embracing change. And I got self-belief. So I feel like the self-belief is coinciding with the magician. Knowing that it, everything going to happen the way that it's supposed to happen. Okay. And understanding why everything come about, okay? Embracing the change, okay? Um, now, with self-belief, if you really believe that this connection can work, it's going to work. But I feel like it got to, how you guys go about it, it has to be different, okay? That's where the change has to be. Um, now, with embracing the change, I feel like this is going to be the other person, per se. I feel like this person is really going to become a better version, trying to change, Okay, and with igniting my joy, this is again, I feel like it's coinciding with with yourself, um, getting back to yourself, okay, because probably this connection was deterring you, okay, um, was making you lose your focus, but I feel like you guys are gaining that focus back, okay, um, but yeah, that's the reading that I got for you guys, um, for Aries, okay, and thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If you want to book a personal reading with me, you can at queenforthetarot at gmail.com.